Hi guys, welcome to the video. Uh, in this video I'll be covering uh, this blue screen of death that we'll, we see on Windows 10. Um, I'll show you how you can troubleshoot it and easily fix it. Uh, if you're getting this issue, don't panic, it's very easy to fix. Uh, I've seen it on many, many systems from, I believe, Windows XP all the way up to Vista 7, 8, and now I've seen it a couple of times on Windows 10. Um, so what happens is your system will crash, show this blue screen and it will show the this white writing on it. Um, the issue will appear to happen either randomly or it will happen all the time when you do a certain thing uh, within Windows. So if we first of all have a look at this, this is obviously just a screenshot. Uh, if we have a look here, uh, what we're looking at is for is the stop code. So we can see here, it says driver, and then IRQ not less or equal. Now I know, if you if you Google that, um, what you'll find is that it's Windows is having some sort of an issue right into memory. It's getting confused, and that's why we're seeing this blue screen, blue screen of death. Um, so now we know what is happening down here, what failed. So it tells you exactly which file caused this issue. Now the first step that we need to do is we need to Google this file. What that will tell us is what is the driver that is using that file. Um, this is an article I've written on my site. I'll include a link to it in the video in the description. Uh, but what I've listed here is these are the most common file names uh, to appear on the blue screen of death. Uh, so for example, if you saw this file, you know that the driver is the Intel graphics card. So if I just switch to my virtual machine, the first thing you need to do is find out what driver is causing the issue. Then what you need to do is to go into, if you type in device manager, and select that so you need to find the driver that's causing the issue okay so we we'll use this one for an example so what we need to check is if you right click and go to properties if you click on the driver tab uh, you can see here I'm using uh, the driver version 8.4 13.0 now what you need to do is you need to go to the Intel uh, website and you need to let download the latest driver uh, for this network adapter. Uh, hopefully there'll be an 8.5 or a newer driver out. So if you just download the driver and install it and then reboot, fingers crossed it will resolve the issue. You might be able to just do right click and update driver. Sometimes, sometimes it finds a driver. Uh, in my experience most of the time it does not uh, so yeah if you so if you update that driver uh, reboot your machine and that will fix probably nine out of ten issues if you're still getting an issue uh, one another thing you can do is come in here right click uninstall and click on OK then as you can see the device has gone so if you then restart your machine I'm not going to do it now but if you restart your machine um, the device will come back in here and if you can then re if you download the latest drivers even if it's the same version reinstall the drivers again because that will just refresh all of the the, the uh, files for the drivers because there's probably an issue with one of the files, possibly got corrupted or I don't know, maybe missing, it was deleted somehow. Uh, sometimes if you install a third party software, it overrides those files as well. So it's possible it's got the wrong version of the file that it requires. Okay, if that, if you're still having issues after that, if you run Windows Update, so if you type in if you type in check for updates uh, 
Okay, you can see here it's actually downloading updates, but there should be a button there saying check for updates. If you click on that, it will then go to the Microsoft servers. It will uh, detect what updates you need. It will install the latest service pack and the latest hotfixes for your machine as well. That's a good thing to do because it's possible that Microsoft um, has got a hotfix or service pack that fixes this exact issue that we're getting. So again, if you install the update, reboot your machine, uh, just monitor if, uh, if it's still crashing. If it is, another thing we can do is if you click on the start menu, type in CMD, uh, right click, run as administrator. And if you just type in this command, chkdsk, c colon, forward slash r, forward slash f. If you press enter, it's going to say here, uh, it can't run it now. Do you want to run it next time the system restarts? Just press Y, hit enter. And if you then restart the machine after that, it will run the check disk it could take anything from sort of 20 minutes to maybe two hours if you've got a lot of um, files on your c drive uh, so again run that that will check for any corruptions or bad sectors on your hard disk and it will resolve those issues it's always a good thing to do to keep your system nice and healthy if you're still getting an issue if you go into device manager and if possible, if you could um, disable your the device that is having an issue, for example, the display adapter. If you disable the display adapter, it will just fall back to like a default um, basic adapter. So then you won't have the advanced features, the higher resolution that you would normally have. Uh, but what what that would do then would would be that that would rule out. You know this device is causing the issue because if we disable it and we don't get the problem in the future uh, we know that there is either some sort of driver issue which there shouldn't be because we've resolved it um, but it's possible that the hardware is actually faulty so if we disable that that's going to stop using that that driver altogether so just right click and do disable reboot your machine and then if you don't get the blue screen of death after that You'll probably have to replace um, your hardware. Uh, it would be good if you got another display adapter lying about the place. You could easily put that in your machine. You can then rule out that it is a hardware problem. Um, if you don't want to do that, another thing you could do is reinstall Windows 10 from scratch. It's possible that the driver has become corrupted or has got some sort of problem. Uh, but you can't resolve it from the steps that we've taken from updating the driver and uninstalling and reinstalling. Okay, and those are all the checks that um, I've, I've found usually fixes this problem. Uh, if you do have any comments, please post it in the YouTube uh, comment section below and let me know how you got on with this guide. Thank you very much.